Okay, Libra and welcome. This is your uh, Gemini um, season of reading for you business people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Remember, this is only for business, career, and self-employed um, people. So, Libra and your heartbreaks is going to be over. I see the secrets is now out. And I see that... Uh, <clears throat> A lot of information was kept, and now everything is coming out. People are now aware. People are now recognizing um, what was happening and what was transpiring. You have one, two major or corner that you're dealing with, and it's in um, the second week and the third week, and it's about some sort of a heartbreak that was there um, that people had done you some on um, some you know, inconsiderate things at transpiring at the workplace or with your business and people are holding back a whole lot of information and now this information is now going to be coming out. So, so um, all of your energies are in reverse and it's as if a whole lot of information is coming out about what was happening and what was transpiring. A lot of you had felt as if um, things was... Uh, in was going on um, where people had been inconsiderately um, creating a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problem. So this is the Gemini season. It is from May 21st until June 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a season of ambitions, independence, and patient. Patient, okay? Patient. So the week one is beginning from the 21st of May until the 27th of May. And in this week, we have the energy of the three of uh, swords. And the energy of the three of swords is Saturn in Libran. So some of you, some sort of a undesirable situation could transpire between you and other people at the work for that sort of a situation is coming up and you're going to be um, kind of figuring out how to resolve this issue and this situation in a very pleasant way. Um, it is an unpleasant situation, but yet still you're going to be trying to resolve it and it's, and it's going to be trying to reach out because someone could be either leaving the company or someone could be fired. This is Saturn. Some sort of a discipline is going to be returning um, in um, your life or in the position of where you are. And I see truths are going to be revealed. Then in the second week, the second week is from the 28th of May until the uh, 3rd of May. And what we're seeing is the energy of the moon. Whenever the energy of the moon comes up, the energy of the moon reveals secrets, okay? It is about your intuition and it has to do with a Pisces a Pisces could have, uh, have some sort of a secrets or hold some sort of information from you that you weren't aware of. And this information is definitely going to be transpiring. And especially in the week of the 28th until the 3rd of June, you're going to be recognizing and finding out a whole lot of information that you were not aware of. Now, these are situations that is transpiring around you. Whether it's in your um, life of career or it's life on the work floor. And uh, um, these secrets because of some sort of a, um, unpleasant moment that ha um, happened in the week before that. It is going to be revealing to you some uh, secrets that people were keeping from you. And it's going to be coming out in a way that you had never expected to come out. So it could be in a meeting. It could be um, that somebody, someone blurted out because um, there was uh, um, some sort of a problem where there has to be some sort of a recognition. Um, and someone bloated, bloat out something that you were not aware of. Um, listen to your own intuition in this week about work, business or career or people on the work floor because that is going to be leading you to valuable information and this is going to be really positive. So 
Um, remember to choose one of these crystal in order to find out what is transpiring. So if you feel as if there is something that was not above water and you feel as if you were left out in the cold with something, um, you're going to be finding it out in this week. In the third week of the fourth until the 10th of June, you are dealing with a magician. This energy of the magician is a, a very positive. So that week is going to be a good week for you guys. The energy of the magician is always uh, alerting um, people to um situation that is going on that they were not aware of. The energy of the magician is the energy of uh, um you recognizing that uh, you had the tools in your hands uh, to do something. It's as if you... Uh, you felt as if you were left out uh, um, with an issue or uh, dealing with something or you didn't have uh, the expertise or that sort of a thing. So it could be a situation where at the work floor, some sort of a um, problem is going to be coming up. And it has to do with the expertise because it's a magician. So it's about knowledge and wisdom. Okay. It's about you either recognizing that you have the expertise and that you can uh, move up the ladder or apply for another job or go somewhere else but you're going to be recognizing um, that people were holding you back for some sort of a reason is because they recognize that your expertise your skills and knowledge was above water but yet still they they were thinking yeah but why this person should get the start moving forward so it is a lot of situation that is happening and transpiring because it's as if people had held back some of you in whatever the reason is. And then all of a sudden, um, you're going to be finding out why people were being so horrible against you is because you have knowledge and wisdom that they didn't have because it's the energy of uh, you recognizing, oh, so, oh my God. So it is the reason that... Uh, they knew that I was good at things and this is the reason why they didn't want me to move forward. So I see a whole lot of positive um, situation, a whole lot of positive things are going to be transpiring in your world. And this uh, um, situation is going to be because something um, uh, come out of the blue and you recognize, oh my God, I was being held back for on. Uh, conventional reason that the reason is because people were creating um, problems for me is because they recognize that I have uh, expertise in my field but didn't want it to open up and gave me the chance to move forward so a lot of you liberals are going to be recognizing that you are far above understanding and your skills and knowledge was good, but yet still people rec people didn't want it to give you the lead way. And you're going to be finding this out. In the last week, um, the last week you have the energy of the Ten of Swords, the Sun in Gemini. So a lot of you Librans are going to be recognizing that uh, all of this uh, could be caused by a Gemini. A Gemini who had some sort of a secret. A Gemini who um, could be jealous of you. And this is the reason why they have created this. Now, the sun in Gemini is not very positive because it's in the reverse. It's not in the upright. And um, th this this last week, this week of the fourth, the fourth week and the week of uh, um, the 11th on the, the 20th, you're going to be recognizing and getting information and recognizing that uh, a Gemini had long had information that was supposed to given to you or supposed to be um, processed for you. And this Gemini had all but the information and did not um, enter the information or give people or process the information. And they're going to be recognizing that a Gemini is the one that had blocked um, some sort of a information to help you so it could be a reference it could be um you were supposed to move to another department it could have been that they recognized that you could have run some sort of a, a department or become some sort of a manager and they never um give you and never process the information and never uh, advise you of that 
there was a position where you were called for and you were needed for. So I see that this is going to be coming up and there you're going to be recognizing how people had held back information and it is all coming out in this period. It is really all coming out. So if you want to know who was um what the information is, what was El Baca, you can look at the, the ring, the energy of the ring to find out uh, um, what people had held back from you and uh, um, find out how to um, overcome this situation. Because I see a lot of you Librans are going to be thinking, Jesus, uh, you know, they, hold, they held back uh, and blocked me from moving forward and accessing financial uh, um, success in my life because this is about people um, being dishonest because they recognize that you had something that they didn't have and they tried to hold you back in order for you not to move forward and not to get um, get up, uh, up the career ladder and a lot of you are going to be so blown out of the water to find out that people had um, really all about the data and information that was supposed to process in order for you to move forward. So it's as if some of you wanted to do some sort of a study. Some of you wanted to major in something. Um, they block you and you're, yet still your credits and was good. So, you know, these are things that it could be a situation at the workplace that, um, you know, manager and management have seen that you could have done more and um, like a whole lot of work, a whole lot of business should have come to you. And yet still someone had blocked it and never um, delivered the message or never um, given uh, you the lead way and let you know about this. And I see that they're going to be coming down not this person and this person could be fired because they recognize that this person was not being very honest. So if you... Feel as if you were hurt by people on the work floor. Choose um, the energy of the ring if you feel as if uh, people uh, take advantage of you and kept back things. Choose the energy of uh, um, the shoes. If you felt as if uh, there is more that is going on and people are not saying it, choose the energy of uh, the magician. And if you feel as if... Uh, there was information that was held from you, which you could have helped you to move up the ladder. Choose the energy of the ring. I gotta go, but I want to say I love you guys. Namaste until next time. Yeah.